Hey guys, what's up? Fireball Yu-Gi-Oh here. And um, today I'm just going to show you guys a quick run through on how to use Exceed Monsters. Um, a lot of people call them XYZ Monsters because um, in it says Warrior Slash or like whatever type they are, Slash XYZ. But they're called Exceed Monsters. Um, I have three here. Uh, I have the first starter deck um, Exceed Monster, a number 39 Utopia. I have the number 17 Leviathan Dragon Tin um, Exceed Monster. And um, this tin, uh, Wind Up Zen Maester. I think it's Zen Maester. But a lot of people are, uh, whenever this first came out, were probably like, how in the world does this work? And, um, oops, sorry, I bumped the camera. I'm just going to give you a quick run through on how this works. It's not really that complicated. Um, in case you're wondering, oh, this is probably a little bit complicated because I know synchros, uh, synchros are a little complicated, but exceed monsters are fairly easy to understand. Um, first off, these are like synchros and fusions. Uh, they go in your extra deck uh, during your duel. And to summon them from your extra deck, let's say I have a Luster Dragon out and a Spirit of the Harp out, and they're both level 4 monsters, what you can do is you'll place them, and then you'll summon your uh, Exceed monster. Now, these are no longer part of the battlefield. They are attached to him, um, or whatever monster it is. And um, they all have effects that revolve around um, the monsters that are attached here. Like, um, it says, whenever a monster declares an attack, you can detach one XYZ material, uh, I should say material monster from this card, negate the attack. When this card is targeted for attack when it has no XYZ materials, destroy this card. So basically, if my opponent attacks with, say, a Blue-Eyes White Dragon, uh, kicking it old school. Um, I can detach one of these, send it to the graveyard. I'll put the graveyard up there so it's still in view. And then it would negate the attack. And I can do that up to another time. And then once they select this as a target, it just destroys the card. And the card goes in the graveyard. Now, I'm not quite sure how many Exceed monsters are out right now. Um, I don't follow on them much. I do get the new tins whenever they come out, uh, except from, with the exception my friend bought this tin and I traded for him. And uh, I also, I bought this tin. Now another thing is if there's anything that targets stars, like a uh, calculator, that card adds up the total amount of stars that are on the field, like 4 plus 4, 8 and all that. These are not stars, so thus they won't count. Uh, this is their rank. Uh, rank 3, it requires two level 3 monsters unless it's stated otherwise. You can see right there, two level 3 monsters. So, for example, uh, yes, I'm using cards from my um, Duelist Kingdom deck as an example. I just quickly grabbed the closest deck. It would be, like, if I had Zombie Dragon and Mammoth Graveyard out, again, just send that, not send them. Why did I send them to the graveyard? I didn't mean to do that. Play them like this. It's a very cool concept. It, it makes it a little bit more fair than Synchros. I'm kind of against Synchros, like decks that rely heavily on them. I will use Synchros from time to time. Uh, like my favorite synchro. Uh, where is it? Is one of my favorite ones. This good old Stardust Dragon. This is one of my favorite synchros. But other than that, I'm not much of a fan of synchros. So, anyways, that was just a quick run through of Exceed Monsters. Um, I'll have what these monsters were 
in the uh, description if you want to check them out on the Yu-Gi-Oh card wiki for some tutorials. I'll have the Yu-Gi-Oh wiki down there in the description, uh, as long as a couple other links to my other YouTube sites, my other YouTube channel, and uh, my two sites. So comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later in another video. Peace.